Imagine a world where tiny sensors can detect the smallest changes in our environment. This is the world of screen printed electrodes, or SPEs. SPEs are intricate devices combining precision engineering with cutting edge materials science. At their core, SPEs consist of three main components, a working electrode, a counter electrode, and a reference electrode. The working electrode is where the electrochemical reaction occurs. The counter electrode completes the circuit and the reference electrode provides a stable reference point. Together, these components form a powerful sensing system. SPEs can be as small as a fingernail, yet pack the punch of much larger analytical instruments. The base is typically a plastic or ceramic substrate, with conductive inks forming the electrode patterns. These inks contain materials like carbon, gold or silver, creating pathways for electrical signals. Finally, a layer of insulating material is applied, leaving only the active areas exposed. The result is a compact, efficient sensing device. Manufacturing SPEs combines elements of printing and electronics manufacturing, using screen printing for precise deposition of electrode materials. Screen printing is an art form that dates back centuries, but its application in electrode manufacturing is relatively new. The process begins with a finely woven mesh stretched over a frame, acting as a stencil for the electrode design. Conductive inks are the heart of the electrode, with carbon-based inks popular for their versatility and low cost. Noble metals like gold or platinum offer superior conductivity and chemical stability for specialized applications. The screen printing process for SPEs requires precision and control, with factors like ink viscosity, mesh tension, and squeegee pressure playing crucial roles. Advanced printing machines ensure consistency across large production runs. After printing, the electrodes undergo a curing process, hardening the inks and bonding them to the substrate. Recent innovations include three-dimensional printing techniques and the integration of nanomaterials like carbon nanotubes and graphene. These materials enhance the electrode's performance by increasing surface area and improving electron transfer. The combination of traditional screen printing with new materials opens up exciting possibilities for SPEs. Researchers are developing new conductive inks incorporating nanomaterials like graphene and carbon nanotubes. Flexible SPEs are another frontier, with new substrates allowing electrodes to bend and stretch without losing functionality. These could be integrated into wearable devices or smart textiles for real-time monitoring. These advancements are pushing the boundaries of what SPEs can achieve. The future of SPEs is bright with possibility. In the world of sensors, two factors reign supreme. Sensitivity and selectivity. Sensitivity is the ability to detect very small amounts of a substance, while selectivity is the ability to distinguish between different substances. Recent advancements in SPEs have made significant strides in both areas. Increasing the electrode surface area is key to improving sensitivity, with nanomaterials like carbon nanotubes and graphene playing a crucial role. Some electrodes can now detect substances at concentrations as low as parts per trillion. Selectivity improvements involve modifying the electrode surface with specific recognition elements like enzymes, antibodies or synthetic molecules. Arrays of electrodes with different properties can identify specific substances in a mixture. New electrode designs and materials can filter out unwanted signals, reducing interference from other substances. Special coatings and advanced signal processing techniques help separate the desired signal from background noise. These improvements make SPEs more reliable and versatile. Researchers recently reported a capacitive biosensor that uses carbon nano-onions and graphene oxide, low-cost interdigitated screen-printed electrodes, to immobilize anti-carbohydrate antigen-19, nine antibodies with LOD of 0.12 UML, which is within the relevant range for early pancreatic cancer detection. Carbohydrate antigen-19, nine is one of the most widely used early biomarkers for pancreatic cancer. The advancements in sensitivity and selectivity are changing the game for SPEs. The versatility of screen printed electrodes has led to their adoption across a wide range of industries. In the medical field, SPEs enable rapid tests for conditions like diabetes and heart disease. Researchers reported low cost point of care screening of carcinogenic embryonic antigen using an SPE platform. The proposed biosensor uses a plastic antibody coated on a polypyrrole to allow for subsequent removal of the antibody. 
thereby selectively absorbing the carcinogenic embryonic antigen to the polypyrrole after the carcinogenic embryonic antigen has been removed. Environmental monitoring benefits from SPEs detecting pollutants in water, soil, and air. In the food industry, SPEs ensure safety by detecting contaminants like bacteria and toxins. Researchers recently developed an SPE-based electrochemical immunoassay system that can reduce the detection time for Legionella pneumophila in drinking water from 10 days to just 2, 3 hours. Industrial applications include quality control in drug manufacturing and monitoring chemical reactions. SPEs are truly versatile and impactful. As we peer into the future of screen-printed electrodes, the horizon is bright with possibility. Smart SPEs are integrating advanced data processing and artificial intelligence. Imagine an SPE that interprets results in real time, providing instant analysis. Multifunctional SPEs can detect multiple parameters simultaneously. Miniaturization leads to new applications in nanotechnology and molecular biology. Advances in material science will shape the future of SPEs. The future of SPEs is bright with possibility.